Greetings and welcome to part two of session ten of our cavern caverns and uh, COVID monstrosity. I after am in a short ten minute break. We are back. Yes, after a very sh short very short ten minutes. <laughs> very short. <laughs> I'm very um, happy ten with minutes. Life, really. Ten whole minutes. Um, do you know what? I'm Callum. I am running this game, and with me I have Ewan. Greetings. And Alexander. Good evening. I have a very stable connection. Super stable. Uh, Mango. Tango. I do not have Tango. Ah, oh, gutted. And I we have Sindri. Hello. Digsy. Baba Booey. And Ryan. Indeed. So, good job you're back, Alexander, because uh, we kind of come back in, uh, maybe maybe like a big like pan out from Tilda's foot tapping on the top of a manhole cover and coming up and uh, looking up to Emu's face. How does Emu feel? Oh, and, and Emu's saying, what was it? Uh, another uh, a good day to die or something. Here I go killing again. Here I go killing again, that's the one. Here I go killing again. <laughs> so, uh, do, do I take it that you just um, jump down, or do you... Um, did you spend 30 minutes uh, meditating above this manhole cover? Alone? I think, um, as it was uh, Tilda's idea, I just motioned for her to leave. The, um... So for my clarity, this is the Ryan clarity, not yes. the uh, Tilda clarity. I, that is fine. Um, like, are you fully rested? Um, or are you still... Um... I have full HP. Are you out of tune, shall we say? And um, where you'd quantify is I have three fifths of my tune. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so you're not taking your, like, granted full key stock in with you. I'm, I'm pretty sure I used two last time we were in the sewers. Okay. Uh, yes, that's correct. And I leveled up to then have five in total, so I feel like getting three is fair. Okay. And that was how many hours ago? I mean, I thought this was still the same night, to be honest. Shrug. Time is unclear. Time is time is um odd. Um, yeah. Well, it's like it's like quite late, so it's definitely been like a few hours. Um, I would say. Uh, if you went in sort of like closer to evening than it is tonight, and now you're <laughs> told, told the dead, um, and it's now closer to night than it was evening. Um. Yeah, I think if Emu's just kind of like, you know, after you, in that case, then yeah, I'll uh, just motion to say, perhaps you will assist then, and then um, lean down, and I guess we just move the manhole cover to the side and. Head down the ladder into the sewers. Yeah. Cool. Um, as you kind of go down, it's uh, substantially darker due to it being later in the slits uh, thingy. And all the the previous lit, um, you know, um, covered lighting, uh, I guess, fire things that they were in there, little covered things. I, I think we both have. Um, I was just going to ask, do you have vision. fancy vision? Yeah, we're composting the dark. Yep. Brilliant. Cool. So it just looks um it's you know, it's darker, but it looks like what it looks like for fancy dark vision people. Um and uh, it's like it's very, very quiet as you go down. <clears throat> okay. Does it um, look familiar in any way to where we were? Uh yeah, it kind of looks like the um, do you know what if I move you onto the sewer map. Oops. Uh, and I assume everyone doesn't have vision of the whole thing. That's that would be silly. 
Uh, let's just turn that off. See what happens. There you go. Okay. Well, we can see everything. Um. So we shall say if you came down. Um. Sort of. Where am I? Down here. Uh, I should probably use the arrow thing so you can, you can see. Or just move our tokens. I could move your tokens too. Yeah. Uh, if I can find them. Oh yeah, there you are. But it was... that gate's open. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. My mouse is being a bit funky. But yeah. So around that area. Uh, okay. And it is yeah, uh... oh, yeah, there. We, we just start searching, right? Um, yeah. Um, do you I want... have one of my my fans out, obviously, for defense. I I, you know, I'm gonna take time and I guess. Like, does it smell like something? Then, if I lit a candle, for example, would this place go up in fire? Uh, it's it's just, probably um so like if you looked at the like where the torches are they're inside like sealed um compartments that mm -hmm. are like um lit from so there are torches and there is light then no but they're they're off is the is the point right. they were okay. on previously cool. they're now extinguished is what you what you've noticed Sorry, I thought I'd said that, but I probably didn't. No, just last time you said it was like magic lighting or some shit. Yeah, um, I know, but um, now I'm giving actual signs. <laughs> so they're in sealed containers where they couldn't get air. Yes, they can, burn. because cool. inside the walls there's little vents thingy. So next to like, cool. through the cool. street, that's there's fine. like little smoke, like grates just in the ground. tiny kobolds breathing air into the holes. That's fine. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Again, that's fine. this is a land where cycles exist. <laughs> Um, and no tides. Yeah, uh, um, a lot of fire doesn't need oxygen. Yeah. So that's interesting because I also just argued the point where I threw fire bolts around last time. And nothing like it blew up. So, like, <laughs> that's like, magic I, fire. I need... It is magical right? fire. If you're lighting so... a magical fire thing, then that's fine. If you're fire. Lighting a match, it's not fine. Right, okay. They so are very different. mundane fire... Mundane fire cause... causes explosions. Right, okay. So in theory, I could light this candle with my fire bolt. You certainly can. And it that is fine. Hold this place up based on God's rules. That's, yes. God said so, the therefore it's true. Blow the place up. No, because no. it's lit with magical fire. The actual fire itself. So the fire exists magically and then is like burning the thing. Whereas if you like light Don't the overthink it, Alexander. It's totally fine. Totally yes. fine. A uh, wizard did it. Cool. Yes. Yeah, right? Mirrors. Whenever it's all mirrors. Like a wizard did it. <laughs> Gary the Knoll did it. Um, it was no, Gary. The reason, I wanted, the reason I wanted a candle was to find drafts up against walls and things in case there was hidden compartments and such. That was the reason. Um, because obviously it would affect where the uh, you know, air current was blowing. Oh yeah. yeah. So I think um, Emu would just start like hitting walls instead. That would that would be her version. Yeah, like just the fists. Just <laughs> like dust just... you could raise up because you could get okay. it yeah. dust into the air along the walls, and if there was a current, you could notice. No, I'm not yeah. gonna have went through that entire how do how does fire work conversation to not use the candle now. Like I'm totally gonna use the candle now. <laughs> like I'm, I'm on board now. I've committed. <laughs> um, so yeah, like um, think, these like, orange lines I, are the bits that don't exist. That's fine. I'm um, literally just gonna work my way through, like searching everything I possibly can. Like keeping, like I don't mind going slowly because I want to keep alert for danger while spending time doing this. So I don't mind, you know, me and Emu taking slow kind of, you know. You move up a bit, punch a wall, I'll look around, make sure nobody jumps us. I'll move up a bit, use my candle, you keep it edgy. Like, I don't mind how long this takes, quite frankly, because we've yeah, gotten yeah. until we sync up with Gorm's timeline to care about. And then, yeah, we're just, I'm happy just to keep searching the place, like, meticulously, quite frankly. Yeah, um, that's fine. Um, What to do then is, oh, sorry, Emu. Would there be anything that the two of us would be able to perceive with 
well, really few weeks it, since. Yeah, so what what I what I'll get used to do is I guess um I guess if you're looking for the thing, I guess like roll your investigation thing, so whoever wants to roll that and is whoever's helping. Um, uh, if you want to roll I'll help. Uh, and then I also want something to kind of see how long it takes you to kind of go through the whole thing. I'll try um, to investigate check. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Because I like I don't really intend to come back out of here until I find until you get find like, whatever you're looking for or the lack of what's here. Yeah. Yeah, like that is this is her quest currently. Um, yeah, that's fine. Cool. So yeah, um, so whoever wants to roll that and help, that's. I think your investigation. I just want to say, if they find something, I feel scammed because I think I rolled like a natural nineteen with my dungeon delver thing, and I still couldn't find anything. It was very for what specific room. Yeah, I was going to say in a specific room for a specific thing. I actually don't remember what that was for, but please tell us. Um, I can't, I can't remember, remember what it was for them doing that, but I can't remember what it was specifically for. It was looking for doors, I think it was. Uh... Secret doors, you were looking for secret doors. Or like, wasn't that, stuff up in, here. I was going to say, wasn't that in... Oh, like what room this... was that in? It was, I, I'm pretty okay, sure it was, it was right wasn't here. Wasn't it in this room? Like yeah. this. Yeah, because I remember him... Um, no, it I was here, there. like Blue Arrow. It was in the corridor, yeah. Where? Sorry, I'm, I can't see it. Can you... Okay, oh. okay that, I can see that there. Yeah, it's like was here, there, I like I'm pretty area. sure I was searching like this area. Yeah. And encompassing this and in there because that's where yeah, you find the secret exit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean to say that you you auto search the entire place for that, but that's the only thing. Yeah, I am a dungeon delver. I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have indeed. Let me know. This. You look away for one second. Ah, but this there. is a this is not a dungeon. This is a sewer. See, uh, yeah. that's the if you had the Big sewer dip. delver. Um, <laughs> that would be a different story. <laughs> um, ah, oh, yes, the shit down here is a lot fresher. That must mean something. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, shit delving aside. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's going to take us a while. Yeah, I think it, I think we're, it we're does. We're both pretty bad. Yeah, it... I'm one tiny bit better than you because I'm not punching stuff. I think. <laughs> um, and also, could both of you give me like just perceptions, um, individually as well? Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, sorry, I left it. That's fine. I'll give you your first roll. Yep, that's fine. Cool. So yeah, it it takes you quite a while to um to kind of get through the the entirety um of this the the sewers into a point where you're like um maybe you've you've kind of gone up and and like left round into that big hole in the ground yeah uh, and then just like re retraced your steps through um the the entirety of the place until you've got to about if i just uh you over to about here. I was gonna say, can we go back to where the dogs are, or is like? Yeah, you can go back to where the dogs are. Uh, oh yeah, that's the, none of the. We, that's, 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 I was gonna say that's assuming that we didn't get to the box in question. Um. Oh no, you do. Oh, Eventually. Okay. Um. Cool. I was gonna just let but, the dogs smell the dagger. That was my thinking. And no. Like, um. So I was, I was. I was gonna say. Um. I probably should have deleted them, but I can be bothered. Um. There are. Like as you kind of go through the the whole thing, it's like so quiet, um, and you that you don't come across any other sort of life at all, um, and maybe as you're walking sorry, through. Sorry, Kara. I said sorry, you know. Oh. And um. Yeah, I mean the, the the bodies of 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 all these things are still there, but every every living thing seems to have either left or, um, you don't know. Maybe some have died, but you didn't really do like a, a body count as you went through, um. But what like did we find anything else also even like because if we're searching the entire place like yeah, well, well don't worry, we're getting to it. Interest? We're getting to it. Fear not. Why not? So as you kind of get down to this sort of section here, um, you you come to a dead end, obviously. Um, but on the wall, 
is that uh, kind of painted in what seems to be the like goblins blood and it seems to have been like dripped from these these garblins over here um there seems to be like a trail um of the sort of cultish um symbol the that symbol you saw. that was on the floor yes the floor symbol but it's on the wall here in the goblins blood so um hydra base right here. yeah um, and like as you see that one, uh, it's it's only then that you kind of start noticing that it seems to be kind of graffitied almost everywhere. Um, like like on like just like little like bits of the floor, like some like tiles seem to have it. Um, and like as you like keep going and. Uh, finding things, you just keep finding the the that symbol everywhere. Um, some are upside down, some aren't. You know, it's odd. Uh, until you kind of make your way back into the um, where the these guys were, the um, the prison boys, mm -hmm. the pr the the pretend humans were. Um, who are not there now. And uh, kind of on the shelf, you see the the very familiar box, um, and then I suppose you also like um, as as Gorm found earlier, um, in here, that there was the there's a bunch of like of nice similar drinking. looking boxes, that, um, but like, when you compare it to the box in here, they they don't look quite the same, um, and that probably takes you, eh, to get to that, it probably takes you to like late morning um of the, the the next day the um okay a couple of things one what else did we find along the way when not finding the box obviously um anything else of value that's worth bringing with us again for a potential upcoming journey or even just money that we can add into the collection metal yeah do you know what like literally um... legit anything that we could find your quote valuable for the potential upcoming quest lines uh, sure. Uh, do you want to roll, uh, like, 1d100? Uh, sure. Um, uh, Emu, you can have every goblin that has an X, you can take that many hands. 93. 93, cool. You find um, a beautiful, 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 um, like... Callum, that's just a mirror. It's okay. Oh. I get it. Oh. <laughs> no, Ewan. He does not find 20 pounds of the highest quality <laughs> steel. Damn. He finds 93 pounds. Yeah. Um, no, you, you find this like absolutely gorgeous um, ceremonial uh, sword thing. Um, it's like blunt. It's completely blunt. It's not like used for killing. It's like completely for ceremonial purposes but um bludgeoning damage you see yes mm -hmm. um but it, it looks very very valuable almost as if it's like you know 93 golds worth of value excellent cool you could say i, I guess you could say she'll take it with her because money and stuff um uh, oh and that, oh sorry no, on you go, on you. I was gonna say, uh, and the the last sort of thing you find, maybe as if if you like start leaving, um, I don't know what exit you decide to leave at, but I don't know yet either. Um, um, but whatever exit first. that is, <laughs> uh, for argument's sake, what we'll do is we'll say the first the the place you um no no not the place you entered first because that's the stairway. Um, maybe no, no, you... I, just, I, I would happily go back out the way we just came in. To yeah, if you went out back the way me. you just came in, yeah, that's fine. Um. It's uh, you kind of maybe as you're as you're starting to leave, you like one of you um you you like this sort of glimmer catches your eye, um, and as you bend down like in the water, there's there seems to be this sort of pendant that has the dragon eating a turtle, um, signet on it, that's in the water. Okay, I'll add that to the the pile pendant with logo. 
Oh, okay, okay. Does it look like well worn or new? Um, it looks like a brand new. Like, um, it it lo looks golden, but it's like obviously not made of gold. It's you know maybe something then then coated with stuff to make it look gold. Well, okay. Um, what can I do to like when I find that other box? Because yes, that like a very good point was raised that we had somebody like search the room for stuff with those illusion bodies, and I don't remember people finding a box in there. So. The idea that there's no mysteriously a box in there is suspicious. Uh -huh. Yep. So, um, like, what what can we do to like get to the same vibe from this box as we did from the other box? Like, is there anything that can be done um, to like gauge that? Let me think. Do you like, want to oh, give? Here is a box, and then you know, shrugging. Yeah, I, I think I think just like I don't I don't even think you need to like roll anything, um. I think it you wasn't do. The wood specific as well, like the wood was specific. Actually, it was. Um, I mean, it wasn't exactly the same as the dagger. Well, it might have been, um, but it was definitely from what you gathered in the thingy. Very similar or the same wood to the naked eye as the the, as we probably now presume the Leah Heath dagger. I thought we'd confirmed that when a uh, Gorm had looked them over. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. Um, yeah, back from when we were actually in that place. Um, Standing over that dead guy's body. Yep. Happens all too often in this game. I... <laughs> Gorm standing over some dead guy's body. It yeah. does not happen all that often. At least <laughs> not enough. The for strangest guys thing to just happened. <laughs> <laughs> it um, always happens off screen. Like, I think I'll um. Can I go compare it to the other like pile of boxes as well? Yeah. Like, um. So like, if for argument's sake, like I'm obviously I'm not a an actual. Yeah tree expert but if you said like the the box that you found plus like the other box was made of like mahogany or something this was all these boxes were made of pine um that sort of thing so they're just fashioned in the same way they're just like clearly a different um is any of them varnished tournament. to look like mahogany um no but like maybe you find like uh, some like var like varnishes in the corner that are like you know dark mahogany type varnishing um right okay as if somebody was planning on like making you know, like you know forgeries of this yeah yes cool um i guess then while we're off searching this place how long will it take to varnish a box uh it usually takes maybe if you're doing it properly let's say a week ish with the amount of coats that you're doing unless he moves about to correct me Ah, <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'd say a week because, like, you do like you know one coat, leave it for twenty four hours, then do another coat, um, and like, I, I mean, again, I Callum doesn't know, but like, I don't know the difference between like colors of mahogany and pine, but um, this this wood's a lot darker than the 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 fake ones would, so it would take you know a good few coatings. I see. So like a week's mm -hmm. worth of time to to varnish. Okay, interesting. Um, so is that a week D and D ten days week, or is that yeah. a week seven days? A week D and D ten days. I guess it takes longer for things to to for um varnish to to cure in D and D. Definitely in this world, definitely by like like a factor of possibly ten days. super cycles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, like a factor of like, I guess three of extra days. Um, well, no, because it's a tiny box. It wouldn't take that long to varnish. It doesn't need to be varnished well, right? It just no, it's like you know, like wood. again, like a cigar box. So you know, maybe, maybe not even you know a foot, mm. like something nice you'd have on your desk to to give cigars to guests. Yeah, no, I think I'll weigh that up. I think I'll take um, the varnish and one of the boxes with me. Cool. In addition to all our stuff that we've lifted, um, like, I don't know, just to turn to Emu and say, is there anything else you would like to do while we are down here? I presume there is no sign of the, the gnoll. No. He's on the map. Um, yeah, he's on the map, but I haven't removed him. 
<laughs> I'm not just going to start no going around deleting tokens. So yeah, uh, as I said, yeah, there's there's no sign of him. Like other than you know the sign that he left of you know squishing goblins and stuff like so that. Questions here has remained unanswered, but I doubt we shall have any answers to them today. Such as. How's the box got here? And it seems to have not been here as the last time we were. And who's the creatures that we encountered last time was it was clearly no friend to the goblins. I believe the red robed creature carrying Mr. Powers is how the box got here. That question has been answered as far as I'm concerned. And then um, And obviously then I think to myself, obviously Yimu wasn't there to see that. Um, unless you remember you seeing it leaving the fight club part and then heading. Because obviously I only seen... No, um, I just saw him disappear. I didn't see... Yeah, yeah you, like, you basically saw like... Um, like from where you're standing. You you might have seen like the hand. Um, but I, I think you wouldn't have seen the... Was it the hand of a no? Um, <laughs> uh, I no. don't think it was. I think I asked that as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, it looked kind of like if a, a goblin hand was like um, human sized. Yeah, I remember I you were saying it was very it's... like humanoid, goblinoid, like yeah. Pretty. Um, yeah, so I think like Till doesn't really care about how the box got here, more just why there is a second box and etc. All that nonsense. Um, and uh, I think I'll uh, turn back to you, you know, after saying that and say. Now our second complication, talk ajar and how far do you trust him? I believe if you can have any form of edge over this Leah Heath adversary, we shall be wise not to lead him to it. While I don't necessarily think of him as an enemy for now, I do not think of him as an ally. He certainly has proved the uh, potential to be a dangerous adversary. We should perhaps take care to leave him simply as an acquaintance and not risk his ire or perhaps risk the ire of those who would fight against him. We can nod. We should perhaps come back empty-handed, then, from this quest. I just look at Yimu with a knowing look of, perhaps we didn't find the box. So many things are lost for a reason. I can and... Yeah. <laughs> it's like this, like, ooh, ooh. Wow. Um, Nice touch, though. Um, I think... In, unless you, you there's anything specific that you want to um do slash talk about, we can nah, just go clean fade out in there. Think. Leave clean my clothes. Sync back up the timelines. Hopefully, this is where I tell you I had a plan all along. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So we come back to I guess um, Dig Doglio, uh, Peter, and Ovik. Dig Doglio will come back to us then? Uh, I, I believe... Oh I'll yeah, sorry, Dig Doglio, you didn't go with them. Yes, that's right. Apologies. I was, I was outside of the tavern when we uh, last left. Oh me, yes, you so, came uh... back after the tavern after chasing around the mysterious Borkers. Uh, um... Yes, can I run into the tavern and, and, and ask the locals if anyone knows of this dog's whereabouts? Where they could have usually. Yes, okay, and what I want you to do is um, first of all Tell me, like, what what are you actually asking? Like, what are the the words that you are using as, um, Dig Doglio, and what? How are you saying this? Because bear in mind, you have an unconscious child slung over your shoulder. Um, I say child. Okay. But, yeah. Well, I mean, in just somewhat Dig Doglio style, just not really giving a fuck. Burst into this tavern, dead child and all. And to, and just sort of shout, has anybody seen a dog? Very small, loud, annoying, very scruffy looking thing. Very elusive. 
I think a a man stands up. And this man's quite burly in uh, in stature. And he's wearing um, whatever the typical lumberjack would wear in this universe. <laughs> oh, no, the typical lumberjack. <laughs> uh, and he says, I've seen a dog. Where? Hey, he was a, a pretty tall boy. Burst through my window. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm um, just going to pause on that a second. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. Let you, let, you, <laughs> you, let you think of that. And um, Ovec and Peter, what were you up to? We were searching the cart, but we didn't yeah. find anything. Searching didn't slash find. emptying the cart into um, this dude's warehouse or whatever. I think cool. I'd have taken the time to just sort of chat to Peter uh, and see if I can get to know him a bit better. Okie dokie. Um, do you want to actually just have that scene? Um, um, you're kind of like maybe like you're you're on like the the second crate or whatever from yours, yeah. and you're carrying it over, like over the road, um, to the to the warehouse part. <laughs> or I say next door, really, um, as opposed to over the road. But yeah, and talk shows yeah. there as well, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Um, I guess like as you like kind of take the crates, he's standing there, mm -hmm. um, just you know standing by the the cart and the horse. So, like, if you're wanting to be out of your shot of him, you have opportunities while you're in the warehouse to be Yeah, no, I don't, wanna, I don't really yeah. care about that. Or Ovik oh, doesn't care about that. So, I think the first thing I'd say is, um, so, where are you from? Good question. Um, he is from Placeholder Place um, <laughs> until we build that section of the world. It doesn't really matter, because I wouldn't Isn't have there a university it. there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Multiple. <laughs> Totally named the uh, university, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, just reply with whatever name, because it doesn't really matter, because I wouldn't know where it was anyway. Yeah, Maryland. you have no idea, because you have literally no world knowledge. <laughs> okay, um... um... <laughs> Sorry, Nigo. Well, um... I did pick up a new skill recently, which I think might suit you quite well. It's, um... You're like a tough and big, big guy. But these these are more words, but That's they're right. bad words, like insults. <laughs> and they're 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 pretty good. They, they might actually hurt you because they're that good. Mm -hmm. um, would you care to try one of my insults? Maybe you might take some damage. Just just say. I can handle it. Nice. And I will uh, vicious mock rain. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. have a list, and so I have to roll a d100 to see what I'm actually saying. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh god. Only a four. Well, let's scroll up here. Indeed, <clears throat> indeed. I agree with May Roda. the chocolate chips in your cookies turn out to be raisins. <laughs> oh. May. Wow. wow. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. oh, no, so wow! Know. What kind of save do I need to do? Um, do you want to post the spell in the chat, please? I closed the window. I'm back in like half a second. I hope it's Constitution, because um, yeah. Sorry. Um, do you want to, do you want to post ah, vicious mockery in the in the the chat for me? Yeah, yeah. There, sorry, I, I quit the quit the page. For oh, something. right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that was just like a, and yep, I quit the bait. Nah, no, that's fine. No, and I quit no, the exactly. game. Goodbye. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I closed the window because I'm a noob. Uh, yeah. uh, wisdom save. save. The DC 15. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, that's fucking strong. Um. Yes! Way! No! <laughs> he, um, does, he, he likes raisins! What a freak of nature! Wait, oops, I, I rolled. Oops, I like to think right. that all of X like, yeah, raisins are quite nice. <laughs> I think I'd enjoy that more, even. Yeah. Um, and then I guess, like, we have it that, you know, this kind of exchange maybe goes on for a wee bit as you 
take the rest of the crates through over to the warehouse and then you yeah. kind of head back in to um talk jar kind of motions for you to head back into the the sort of taverny yeah. bit. I think during our conversations we sort of get into a bit of like jesting back and forth and i'm just sort of flexing a bit about my strength and all that trying to get like the light side tries to carry a crate that's way too big for him (laughs) Uh, hurts back a little bit he's now hunched even more than he was before um yeah that's fine cool um and so as as that sort of like whole sort of scene sort of expires um <laughs> you uh you, you're just kind of maybe sat like we kind of cut to you sat um in like the the tavern maybe you've got like um some so a, a beverage and you know maybe a, a bite to eat uh as you see dig doglio burst in with the child over his back <laughs> going has anyone seen a dog and this burly man standing up and saying i've seen a dog <laughs> <laughs> the consequences are coming back. <laughs> well, at least he's got someone there to help him. Um, and he says, "Yeah, it was a big bugger burst through my window." How big? And he, you know, um, you know, maybe raises his head, his hand up to kind of, um, just slight, maybe slightly taller than um, than Gorm height. Uh, for eight foot <laughs> um i am i'm five eight on my character sheet but i think like in my mind i've always had myself as like six something okay well but basically i like a foot taller than you essentially i think is what you can give yourself isn't it hmm Yep. Yeah, cool. So about a foot taller than Gorm. Okay. And uh how who is it at the door of the pub right now then? Uh sorry what? How didn't did you say there was someone at the entrance to the tavern? Where mm, uh... no, not when you burst in, no. Okay, fair enough. I'm just kind <laughs> well... of resyncing timeline for this like you guys. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I was gonna say that's not my dog and turn around. Um, cool. Uh, do you want to, can you roll intimidation? Um, not because you're trying to intimidate, but, um, because, uh, people might find you intimidating. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <Passive intimidation. laughs> um, everyone, apart from the people that know you, um, everyone in the bar is like, oh, okay. Uh, kind Peter's of... fucking terrified, but. Oh yeah, maybe Peter as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you kind of turn around, your eyes are wide. You know, very um, you know, crazed eyes, missing your missing your barkers, uh, and you see Ovek and uh, Peter and uh, Tokshar kind of sitting around a table. I imagine you may, might have screamed everything, and then you just quietly whispered, like, "But everyone heard it. That's not my dog. That's not my <laughs> dog." <laughs> I'm out of question. Okay. The guards that helped us escort, or I say helped us, uh, helped us escort this carrot man to here, are they still staying at the inn? Um, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, so as Dick Dugley is turning around, uh, I shout across the bar, Orc, uh, and to get his attention okay. and say, leave the boy. Okay, I'm just going to shrug him off my shoulder then and walk out. <laughs> just, just very nonchalantly, just um... donk. Cool. Uh, do you stick him with... Um... So, right, okay. Gonna do a bit of rewinding here. Sorry. When uh, you guys went in uh, the first time, uh, Ovek and Peter, Tokjar uh, um, sat with the unconscious guy yeah. um, and Mr. Powers went off to his room. Sure. Cool. Just just for that. Yeah, I'd say I, 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 I realize that when things are in my head and I don't say them, people don't know where they are. Yeah. So, no, there I you go. That's of, what happened so there. We're basically kind of by the door. Yeah. that's where the body was, yeah. Cool. Um, and, yeah, so where do you plonk this unconscious kid? 
Where I stand, I, I, I shrug him off my shoulders. Okay, cool. Well, he's not unconscious, he's sleeping. Um, I think he wakes up at that and um, looks very confused and very worried. Can I intimidate him again so he passes out again? You can certainly try. What are you doing? And I'll I'll tell you. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just going to... Well, because I've slumped him down on the floor, I'm just going to lead over him and say, Go back to sleep! Okay, roll intimidation. Sure. Hey! <laughs> cool. Um, so you've scared... You've kind of like... Being just weird and crazy-eyed and freaky and shouting... You've definitely ensured that he's probably not going to sleep for quite a while. Good. <laughs> um, and I think he kind of picks himself up, and uh, I guess. Did Dixie hear that right? Because he did say, "Will not sleep for quite yes. a while." Cool. Yes. Good. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, he picks himself up and he actually just looks around and walks towards Ovik and... I just um, point uh, to like an empty seat next to the other unconscious dude. And he he sits there and looks at the, the unconscious guy and goes, oh, of course you caught him. Um, and kind of puts his head in his hands. Now... He to you? I don't think I hired him. Uh, he's a bit he looks around and just says, shit. <laughs> now, are you guys wanting to have anything said or anything thingied before we fast forward to morning? Yes. Um, I'd like to find the guards that um, helped us travel to this place and see if I could hire them to guard this boy and my cart overnight. Yeah, by all means. Um... Uh, I guess like one of the one of the maybe, maybe like three of them are you know maybe just kind of yep. having a few drinks before retiring or whatever um, for the evening. I also and... took a service of looking it up in the player's handbook to find out how much it would cost. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, would so, you like to tell me how much that would cost? For a hireling, uh, skilled is two gold per day. Untrained is two silver per day. Cool. That is it's, supposed to sound um, fine. They're going to. It's going to cost you three. Three gold for the yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I'll um, pass, uh, not three gold just because they're assholes. Um, hmm? And it's an expensive thingy. They're yeah, free no, land. Yeah. And yeah, they definitely agree to that. They're like, yeah, yeah, we'll watch them. Um, and I think I would um, give them the note. Uh, he's in debt to us, and he's attempted suicide on a couple of occasions, and we would like to prevent his death as we have further need for him yeah um i think maybe one of them like goes upstairs and grabs like another couple guys um uh, like like maybe, maybe maybe like his mate or whatever like just yeah. one of them um like at no extra sort of cost anyway but um, so. i think that before i go to bed i'd also use some extra lay on hands on him to make it so that it would be difficult for him to kill himself but also not that he's got a lot of strength back to try and escape if that makes any sense yeah, that's fine. I have no objections to you doing that. How many points do you reckon that would be? Um, how many points can you give him? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, honestly, um, like I'm, I'm gonna say five. Um, I was gonna be like, ah, oh, you don't know, so you don't need. You know what? Just yeah, five. Yeah, sure. I mean, I get them all back in the morning, so. I think it's just more of a visual of how healthy he looks when I do the healing. Yeah, he looks. He still looks pretty. Like he looks pretty run down, but he looks better having probably napped, um, yeah. for a, a decent amount of time while the dogly old, you know, gallivanted looking for this um, ethereal dog. And again, it would have been a sort of thing where I walk up to him, sort of like grab him by the scuff of the collar, saying, "You're not dying on me tonight," and would have um, cast lay on hands at that point. Brilliant. Cool. Then, yeah, I'm happy to go to bed and wake up in the morning. Cool. Uh, Peter? Um, I don't really have anything to do other than I'd probably like to perform again for the bar or for the... 
yeah, that's fine. Maybe you spend like the the rest of the night. Um, do you want to give give a quick performance roll and um, yeah, you spend the rest of the night just sort of do playing I do until everyone leaves. Like hmm? a drum on the, the foot and a fucking bagpipe, or yeah. Uh, do you want to roll with advantage as well because you've got good rapport with the with the bar? I didn't know that was a thing. It wasn't even needed. Um. Yeah, so is that's it good. like midnight or 1 a.m. or some shit? Yeah, it's like a. Well, yeah. It's, you know, you're playing quietly. You're playing. You've put a mute on your bagpipes, you know. The pipes are quiet. <laughs> it's <laughs> like a pub. A pub. Yeah. Band it's, it's you know, like a, like a Saturday night type thing. Um, Saturday night live. But no, like, I think you, like, play. Maybe it's maybe not even an hour. Um, it's that's fine. Like, as long as I get to perform. For... It's like you know, for like the last few people, um, finishing yeah, up yeah, and like heading home. Thursday in McNeil's. Yeah, it's a Thursday open mic night in McNeil's. Um, <laughs> and yeah, uh, so we fast forward unless anyone in the bar wants to do anything. <laughs> nope, good, excellent. Um, I would like to... <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! I would like to flirt with the barmaid. No, I'm joking. Um, we fast forward to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't care what order this happens in. Um. Ovec, Peter, Dig Dog, Leo, um, coming downstairs to seeing uh, Gorm in Lepop. Nice. Realignment of the star. Oh. How uh, long has it been since they went to everybody bed? Everybody gets inspiration. We're now is all it, in the same It room. is not. It's definitely yeah, not probably. a long rest's worth of resting, but definitely a short rest. Not, definitely a short rest. Time. That's good. So, so they went upstairs for an hour, or... I just want to work out when we would have got back. Um, so you you would get back probably. Um, so like if it's kind of later morning. Um, Gorm came in early morning ish to the tavern, so you've got like, I'm gonna say like twenty minutes of anything, and then you can just walk in. Like so if nothing think... happens, you, Karen, I'd like to think that I would have sort of gone to bed. In the intentions of having a long rest. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. You can lie in. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to. Um, do you get exhaustion if you don't do long rest? Yeah. 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 Okay, then I'll also have a long rest. That's fine. Cool. Okay, well, I can just assume everyone has a long rest. And Gorm, what do you spend the morning doing before everyone just simultaneously walks down the stairs and comes through the door? Breakfast. Okay, let's. Sorry, let's go back a couple of steps then. Sorry. If people are long resting, that would take them past the point Emu and Tilda would get back. That's fair. Like, Emu and Tilda come oh, in then. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, yeah, so, sorry. Sure. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we just all long rest and then meet Gorm in the morning after he slept and we're all rested and in the, the scene. Okay, do you know what? Must... Yes, let's do that. We all have different sleep schedules. Every at some point, we're always the first to sleeping. Um, yeah, I got confused. Right, everyone, you may take a long rest. I'm so confused now because do the things that you like wish to do for a long. Yes, I know. Do the so things that now. you wish to do for a long rest, and everyone meet <laughs> at the tavern in like at, in the afternoon. There we go. Oh god, we slept in for a long time. Didn't we? Just how I that go. It's been a hectic day, right? It has, it has, it has been. yeah. Right. Okay. Two hit bed. Um... I lost any help. Wait, how did you lose help? Oh, did you tank all the hit things? die? You also attacked him with magic. I mean, yeah. Granted, he, he didn't never take damage from it, but like, he, 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 he took uh, damage. You're like, but I actively attacked him. The day started uh, with us on the road to Pompeii, and I took damage in the fight against some goblins before you even joined this campaign. Oh. Right, it's hit by a short rest again then, Matt. What yeah, do you mean you haven't listened to the other six sessions pre your oh, existence? I mean, I knew that. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you knew it. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Right, cool. So, <laughs> everyone is conveniently congregated uh in the place um the the guy who passed out is awake uh the guards are still watching him while him and the boy are eating wait does he regain hit dice perhaps he does but he chooses not to um oh, wow. 
I think the first <laughs> thing that I would ask is the guards is just to make sure that my cart's still there as well. Uh, and it is. Just cool. don't say I'm not good. I'm good. So everybody is now congregated. Ta da! Is it by magic? <laughs> oh, I'd like to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got stuff to do as well, so... Uh, Could I, I skip ahead, like, two hours and be in, like, a different timeline to everyone else? Yes, you certainly can. Right, no. Right, okay. <laughs> um. So, yeah, and, like, uh, I get, like, Tokshar maybe, like, comes through um, the main door. Um, He's, like, been out and about uh, and walks in and looks at you all and goes, Ah, nice to see everybody. Indeed. And he sits himself down. Hmm. So, Gorm, what does uh, is Gorm up to? I think he's probably staring at Talk Sharks the last time I saw him. He had a hole in his chest. Um, how does he look? Is he completely fine, is he? He looks is, is pretty he like good. He was when he was described at, uh, oh, oh. earlier on. He's pretty good, he's pretty good. Um Um Yeah, no, he looks he looks great. Um like and notably there is no signs of like any scarring on his forehead or anything. Um because I think you definitely saw the the LH carved, carved into his thing. There's like no, not even like a red mark or anything on his forehead. He looks really clean, very like quite healthy. Is this talk or the guy? Talk. Cool. Um, I would like to have had a bath during like my time resting. Oh yeah, um, for sure. That's fine. Um, just to have clean things and like steam clean my clothes from the bath, like heat and stuff like that as well, just to get you know sewer smell out mm -hmm. just to refresh i want to generally refresh everything um and redress and just join the group in the common area yeah I'd like to like my paws and then just stare at his forehead and then just say matter of fact factly while staring at his forehead um change of skin then um, I think he looks at you and laughs. <laughs> yes, well, no small feat. It took a lot of concentration, my friend. Um, do Do you remember me shouting at you? Yes, it was very distracting. Uh, I could have probably sorted all this out a lot faster if it wasn't for your interruptions. But I admit, um, how were you to know? And he just smiles at you. And it's quite a sincere smile as well. Potato, potato, enchilado. And then I... Hmm. And then I'd... Do nothing for now. That's fine. Um, I guess uh, does Emu and Tilda say anything to the group about their adventures, or are they keeping pretty quiet for now? What is the two additions to this group doing? The they are thing. currently at so the I assume you mean the the boy and his lackey. Yeah, the transgressors. Um, yeah, they are at like a different table um with the the guys that you and hired uh, Ovec hired even um just still watching them as they're kind of like maybe having a bit of lunch. Mm. I think I'm possibly just looking at them. Like deep thought while well, sitting, I guess, at the bar, maybe. Just taking like, mm -hmm. my back to the bar, looking at the whole room, you know, but then kind of just staring off at them. That's probably what Tilda's doing. 
Yeah. Uh, um, Emu? Um, I think Emu would like to talk to just one of the um, staff and um, inquire about some of the the, the buildings, like you know, standard Emu um, library, garden, church, temple. Yeah, um, like they they kind of, you know, kind of take in what they say. I think they kind of wait for you to like finish speaking before even beginning to like speak. Um, and then they they kind of direct you to. Um, there is a library, but it's you know like the person actually they they let you know that it is like a a bit of a meager library in comparison to everywhere else on in the world uh, according to them perhaps uh, the the staff you're talking to is like a, a, a kind of a book lover and is a bit upset by the the lack of um, literature availability here um and yeah there's like there's basically one um like religious gathering area and it seems to be dedicated to kind of most major religions um, because they they don't really have the, the like it's this is more of like a stopping off point for a lot of people, um, distributing between like you know Merchton and then the other surrounding places that are yet unnamed. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I guess uh, Ovek and Peter, anything from uh, the gentle people? Ovek would like to go up to the bar and get some lunch or whatever, but um, start chatting to barmaid or barman, um, mm -hmm. like whoever shows up, and inquire about uh, a blacksmith or a forge. Um, again, I think the, the person informs you that there is no actual smithery. There's like um, there's a few people in town who kind of do it for fun in their back garden, um, to, you know, unofficially do, like, maybe maintenance and repairs for people, um, but there's no, like, again, you know, Merchton has a much better forge than here, and, um, yeah. then if you go further out to some of the, the external, um, areas, it's, like, there's, most of the forging's done there, again, this is, like, a stop-off place, is what you get yeah. from, from that person. I think uh, if there, I think I'd, I'd just sort of ask um, if I'm looking down, looking to like melt down some uh, some equipment into ingots. Do you, could they recommend anyone if I were to be staying in town for a while? Uh, yeah, and I think they just like give you like the name of a person. Cool. Uh, I'll keep that in my head and sort of ask where they live, maybe. Yeah, and it's um, like I mean. Ovec wouldn't know this, but I guess you and would. Um, it's kind of like literally like down the road from, uh, Gorm's acquired new place. Right, cool. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to know. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Peter. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably get some food too. Maybe ask if I could play a song or two or three to get the meal for free. Maybe. Yeah, no, I think like your performances over the next like of the past like we like day, I guess. Um, they they've just like even like before you even inquire, they're like, ah, would you like some breakfast on the house? Hey. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll take my breakfast. And That's a good point. It. Is the stay in our food on the house or is it? Um. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Um. Sure. Do you know what? You can have it on the house. Do you think that um maybe Powers has a bit of a say in this and could have talked in with our, from our help, I guess. Yep. Yeah, uh, sorry. Could you repeat that? Do you think that maybe um Max Powers or whatever has. Uh, a bit of influence or something in here and could maybe have gotten us some deal or something. Yeah, by all means, like, he basically, like, well, he, he like, 
he doesn't run the place, but his like he it's part of his family like yeah. transport business. It's the attached like um they maybe like rent the the building off yeah. him. Like um it's the same as, you know, like the the renting the space, you know, um He's a the same W. H. Smith in, you know is, like, in the train station. Like Seven thousand gold. Yeah. So there is that too. <laughs> yep, I'm happy with that. Um, Sorry, cool. I think I cut Peter off there. Not really. I was just eating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess Dig Doglio? Hello. <clears throat> that is you. Um, I'm just in the tavern. I'm not really doing much. Just eating my food and yeah. Yeah, just uh, kind yeah. of chilling out. I'm I'm just chilling out, just sort of uh, recovering and then getting myself ready for a day of searching for the dog. Um, I think. Yeah, uh, and I think that we kind of like sort of kind of have like a top down view of everyone kind of milling around in the the tavern, asking their various questions about. The, where things are and stuff and doing various things um and in the distance we can hear like with like tons of reverb on it just this sort of bork as everything cuts to black and um, it goes bork 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 uh, and then we'll we'll stop there mm, an early finish I see. an early finish yes um, a gnarly finish. A gnarly finish. Whoa, dude. I, I hope people don't mind. Um, a bit of an early finish, but... That's fine by me. Yeah, that's fine. Clearly robbed. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because I have the power. <laughs> um, yeah, so what would you like to call this um, odd session? Clearly robbed. Clearly really <laughs> robbed. I feel like that would have been like our last couple of sessions, right? Where we were clearly robbed him as a group. <laughs> uh, robbed by name, robbed by nature. Um, <laughs> oh, what was, what was I was going to say? I hope you're... Uh... <laughs> I hope Boy, the, the chocolate chips in your thingies turn out to be raisins. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, on guys. The, 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 there's, a, there's a problem with this entire session. Oh? You haven't said what the fuck. It, exactly! I have not said what the fuck once this entire session. Right, okay, oh. so Dick Douglas has been replaced. Right. God, <laughs> right. Just matching episodes begin. <laughs> this is where we found out that the child I've been carting around all episode has some magical abilities to Change personas with me. That's and I'm it. now a terrified little child. Um, well, I voted for mine. <laughs> sewers and subterfuge. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Mostly because I, I know we called something else sewers, but I, you know. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> yes, I, I'm just going to quickly double check that um, one of the other ones isn't called that. <laughs> that's that's like we had yeah, Skewered in the so. Sewer and um, Sigils and Subterfuge. So, yeah, it's good. It checks out. Sewers and subterfuge. Subterfuge. Except you know, two I was, I was, two subterfuge. I was, I was going to put forward an absolutely terrible idea for this roleplay, but I decided against it. Uh, I mean, oh, now that what? you've said that, you have to put it forward. Yeah, well, 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 no, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you about it because the moment has passed. I was, I was going to suggest since it's Father's Day, we should all roleplay as the fathers of our characters. <laughs> <laughs> what would it really work for Dora? Don't worry, it's it's a plan. Uh, that's the plan for next year. How about that? Oh fuck! <laughs> or in nine months. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I didn't go to the sewer. Like this, the sewing shop. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Yeah. So what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh... Oh, I forgot about that. And tailcoat tailors. Yeah, and tailcoat tailors. Let's go back and split the gang again. 
No, you all just have to go together. That's the way that works. <laughs> if he goes alone, he goes to turn coat tailors, not tail coat tailors. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because isn't one of the possible ways of getting inspiration we all go together and stick together, right? Yes. So we may as well try and edge our bets until we've decided what method we're using. Hey, yeah. we've all guys, ended up the dog. Bar, so I think we all get inspiration, right? Yeah. So we have to qualify or start the session together, end the session together with <laughs> the free form. Oh, wow. Uh... And we need at least like three checkpoints in the episode where we've all been together. If not, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has like a tag team, like, and then a tag, and then everybody just disperses just like everywhere. And just like somebody tries to walk off, so somebody else just gets a lesser you just whoops them back. Sync up your pocket watches, everybody. Sync up your pocket watches. <laughs> sync up your sundials. Sync up your sundials. So, which Jesus, sun do we go by? An hour late. <laughs> Sorry, moon dials in this world because we tell time by the moon. The moons. <laughs> That's how cycles are decided. Um, anyway, thank you, everyone. That was an absolute hoot. Yeah, indeed. Thanks, Carl. For running. <laughs> Spot on, gentlemen. Thank you for running. Um, and uh, yes, we shall speak to you all in the future. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.